Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can create calculated columns and measures from the table shown in the Power Pivot data model to create values within a table which you can then add to pivot tables and pivot charts. This is one of the primary reasons to use the Power Pivot add-in versus the standard pivot tables within Excel. There are many different types of formulas available within the Power Pivot data model that allow you to calculate values of the existing columns within a table. These formulas are not always exactly the same as the standard workbook formulas within Excel. These formulas are called DAX formulas and sometimes use a slightly different function and syntax to calculate values than normal Excel functions. However, the syntaxes are very similar. Excel will assist you in creating the DAX formulas for calculated columns and fields so that you won't need to worry about the syntax of the formulas that you create. You create calculated columns within a table to create a column value that you can then summarize within the pivot chart or pivot table in the value section. For example, if you had a quantity and a unit price field within an order details table, you could create a new calculated column that would display the result of the product of these two columns as an order total calculated column. You could then add this column to the values section of a pivot chart or pivot table to find the sum of order totals for a given grouping. Other uses for a calculated column would be to derive a new column that you can use within the row or column sections within a pivot table or pivot chart. For example, if you had an order date field within an orders table, but wanted to group results based on the quarter of the year in which the order was placed, you could create a calculated column within the table that would display the quarter of the year for each associated order date value. You could then add this newly created column into the desired section within a pivot chart or pivot table to be able to group by the values returned by this calculated column. To create a calculated column in a table within the Power Pivot data model, first select the tab of the table within the data model window. Then click into the topmost cell within the Add Column column at the far right end of the table. You can then enter the formula that you want the column to calculate into the selected field. Note that for formulas that you enter by hand, the formula is displayed within the formula bar. You start by entering the equal sign followed by the field names enclosed in brackets, joined together by the standard mathematical operators. Note that you can also simply click on the field names of the fields within a table to add a field reference to the formula that you enter. Then simply click the check mark button in the formula bar or press the enter key on your keyboard to accept the formula. Note that you can also create a formula that uses a function by clicking the Insert Function button within the Calculations button group on the Design tab within the ribbon of the Data Models window to open the Insert Function dialog box. This dialog box shows the functions that you can insert. You can select a function within this listing to see the function and any additional arguments that the function requires shown at the bottom of this dialog box. Select a function to use for the formula from the listing shown and then click the OK button to insert it into the formula bar. You can then finish entering the additional arguments that the function requires into the formula bar. Then simply click the check mark button or press the enter key on your keyboard to accept the formula. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.